Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The graphite deficit starts this year as demand for EV battery anode ingredients exceeds supply. I don't know about you, but I've been anxiously waiting for this time to finally come for at least two years already. Starting this year, graphite enters a freaking deficit market meaning there is more demand for this wonder material than there is supply. Economics 101, if there are more people willing to buy a product than willing to sell said product, then the price of that product is almost guaranteed to go up. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the perfect storm for an investment in graphite. But you, an intellectual, already know that. You have already seen my video on the European and the Canadian legislations regarding electric vehicles and you already understand the long-term prospects of graphite. And if you haven't seen that video, I do not blame you. You can watch it right here after this video is done because this video will dedicate itself to the short term, to the things we're already seeing happening all around us. So let's start with the current Demand overflow. You see, lithium ion batteries, the one used in electric vehicles, use up a ton of graphite. Actually, an average plug in EV contains 70 kg of graphite or about 10 kg for a hybrid vehicle. That means that for every 1 million electric vehicles, the global market requires an extra 75,000 tons of natural graphite or about a 10% increase in demand. This means that for all the batteries needed by 2025, only the currently known demand I should add, we do need an additional 1.25 million tons of super pure natural graphite. And as a reference, all the natural graphite mined during 2022 globally reached only 1 million tons total. That means we are just now seeing the start of an insane deficit between supply and demand on graphite. Of course, it is really hard to pinpoint an exact date, but the deficit between supply and demand is starting just about now. A lot of numbers in your face in a very short time, so sorry for that, but we do need these figures to paint a picture. A picture which is honestly frightening. Just how are we going to source all that graphite needed for all those electric vehicles which we are planning to produce globally. Well, as of right now, we are heavily dependent on China for our global graphite supply. In fact, almost 60% of the global graphite supply of 2020 came straight out of that red flagged country. Hopefully we're all learning from the current supply clusterfuck in almost anything. The supply of both food and energy isn't secure because of the war in Ukraine. The supply of goods hasn't been secure for years already thanks to the Roni Roan. So I do believe and I do hope we'll see this chart change significantly going forward. I do believe Canada with its Nouveau Monde Graphite, the United States with its Syra resources and Namibia with its Cortomic will fill up these charts in the coming years. Of course, plenty of other graphite suppliers do hope to come online during the next decade. For example, Sweden hopes to take a spot with its own Talga resources. And there are countless other smaller graphite projects popping up globally, which I believe is a really good thing. But for now, this heavy reliance on China and this deficit between supply and demand is ensuring higher graphite prices globally. If we compare graphite prices from January 2021 to today, we can see that the cost of graphite fines went up almost 45%, large flake graphite prices climbed up a whopping 20%, while spherical graphite rose more than 8%. Those are some stellar returns, and we have to keep in mind that graphite, as of right now, does not have an exchange-traded product. Meaning, graphite isn't being traded through futures and indexes like, for example, oil is. There just aren't any institutionalized speculators betting on or against this wonder material yet. So these increases in prices are a really clear and a really good sign if you are investing in graphite. If you need to use this product in your product lineup instead, 
well, I would be really worried. But most importantly, the significant increases in graphite prices are the first clear sign of a deficit market starting just about now. And that while well, during 2022, the demand for lithium ion batteries is growing at its fastest pace ever with a year over year growth of nearly 50%. So bet your ass that this deficit market will only get worse. Well, bet on whatever you feel like betting on. However, I am betting this dump trunk on this graphite deficit market. Let me know down below in the comment section what you think of graphite as an investment. Also, don't forget to check out this video where I talk extensively about how you can actually profit from this graphite deficit market and with that said thank you so much for watching i love you all peace